Now, there are many ways that the air can move, and I want to show you another way that heated air is able to move. And for this, we'll use a candle. An ordinary candle, like many of you have at home, which I will light with a match. I bet many of you have a candle that you sometimes light when you eat your dinner. Have some of you done that? Have you ever wondered why the flame from a candle rises? Have you ever thought about that? It's because the candle heats the air above it, and the hot air rises. Hot air is less dense than cold air. That causes the cold air to flow in from below, and it fuels the candle with fresh oxygen. One needs oxygen for a candle to burn. Now, I'm going to do one extra thing. I have here a glass cylinder that's open on the two ends, and I'm going to lower that over the candle. And I want you to watch what happens. You notice the candle goes out. And it does so because the hot air is rising from the candle, but it makes a fairly tight seal at the base, and so there's no way for the cold air to flow in from below. And so it's necessary to have this convection in order to make a candle burn. In fact, if you took a candle like this up in the space shuttle, where things are weightless, it wouldn't burn, because the flame wouldn't rise. It wouldn't know which way to go. And you know, in science, we always like to repeat our experiments. And so let's do this once again by lighting the candle. And we'll repeat it with one small difference. This time, in the glass tube, we'll lower a little piece of metal so that it just sits in the glass tube like that. So I'll lower it over the candle, and let's see what happens this time. Well, you see the candle flickers, but it doesn't go out. And just to, so you can see what's happening here, I'm going to take a little of the smoke that we were using before, and I want to show you that, in fact, what's happening is that the air is going down one side and up the other. We've set up a convection pattern so that the, the fresh air can come in from the top, fuel the candle, and then it's heated and it goes up the other side. Now, you may wonder why it goes around that direction rather than the other direction. And that's just a matter of which way it happened to get started. Once the convection starts, then it tends to continue going in the same direction for as long as we wait. Now, just to show you there are no tricks, I'll remove the piece of metal, and you see the candle fairly quickly goes out. 